morning, children. Today, I have two special guests with me. My dog, Lucky, and my friend, Sam, who will be representing you because he's very childish. Which one is which? Oh. Lucky, <laughs> Sam. Got it. Does anyone here have a dog or a cat? I do. Yeah? And do you think your dog or cat loves you? Most of the time. Hi. How do you know? Let me pet them. That's a very endearing answer. But I have a question. Do you think there are certain times during the day when your dog or cat loves you more than other times? Uh, definitely. Yeah? That may seem like an odd question, but I ask it because my dog seems to like me a like a seems to like me a lot more when I'm eating something. You wanna know why? I think it's because he's worried I'm gonna choke. Well What do you think? Do you think that he pays special attention to me when I'm eating because he's making sure I don't choke? He looks pretty concerned right now. Yeah. I'm sure he's not hungry. <laughs> no? Well, uh, why do you think he seems to care a lot about me if it's not because I'm choking? I think he cares more about the food than you. Oh. oh. Let's ask mom. Mom, what do you think? I think he's hoping for a little bit of a treat. <laughs> oh, a snack. Ah. Like one of these? To be included. Maybe? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. You think my dog loves me more when I'm eating because I'm doing something that he also wants to participate in? Yes. Yeah? Okay. You know, now that you say it, it's interesting that my dog likes me more when he's wanting to, the same thing that I'm wanting. Because I think that's a lot like what we hear in today's scripture passage. In the passage, we hear Jesus say that certain people are blessed. Now, the word blessed can mean a couple of things. One thing it can mean is that God is close to us. Jesus then lists some people who are blessed or close to God. And I think one thing that all people have in common is that they all want something that God wants too. For instance, the peacemakers want peace, just like God does. The merciful want mercy, just like God does. And then there are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, just like God does. God is with us all the time. But in today's scripture passage, Jesus is reminding us that when we are wanting the same thing for ourselves in the world that God is wanting for us in the world, then that is the way that we better know God is with us. And the more we know how God is with us, the better able we are to receive God's help to make those things happen that both God and us want to see happen. This is the good news for today. Let's pray. This is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God. Dear, dear God, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank, thank you, you for Jesus. Jesus who reminds us. Who reminds us. That wanting what you want. That, that wanting, wanting what you want. Is a blessing we can share with the world. Is a, is a blessing, blessing we can share with the world. world. Thank you and amen. Thank you and amen. Bye, children. Adios. Bye, children.